I got my plywood covering the peak, so now we have the the real shape of the house. So there's the shape of the whole house. And now we can just watch this come together. Of course, that, uh, <laughs> that peak at the top is the only one. The whole rest of the roof needs all those pieces put on. Oh boy. Right now I'm working on this one eave right here. Just getting it started. I'm gonna start with a small piece that'll just kind of go up to about where that part of the roof starts. And then I'll do another long piece. My friend, uh, so here's here's where I'm building it. Um, my friend John Coulter uh, showed me to the idea to put these notches. Let's see if I can see them right here, a little further up. And to notch the two places in this eave. And then that'll, I can use a two by four to bridge across. It'll should make it easier to install it. So you can see how these two boards sticking out are going to sit on those notches. Project here. Um, I want to transfer a drawing onto some wood. I found a picture online and I put my paper on the screen and traced a drawing that I want to to do. Now I've uh, taken a picture of it and put it on the computer and I'm gonna try to print it onto a piece of wax paper. I'm only getting some rain so I'm getting a chance to do a rainy day project. <laughs> Hopefully I can salvage this ripped up piece of paper. I want it to run through the printer correctly, so I'm trying to make it the right size, or at least close to the right size. Okay, I've got it printed. Um, supposedly the ink is just sitting on the wax paper and has not soaked into the paper like it normally would. So now I'm going to try to transfer that on some paper and then another time I'll try transferring that onto wood. It's the first time I've ever done this, so let's see how it goes. So on the wax paper, it looks like nothing. But as I'm transferring, it looks like a drawing. Obviously, uh, you know, the picture had a whole gray area that was all over the entire paper. So that kind of transferred on there too. Looks a little purple looking. 
but my lines are on there. That's awesome. Find a piece of wood. You need to find a little scrap. Actually, I think this is a little bit small. I'm not sure. I guess I need to take it and see if the picture will fit on it. Something a little bit wider. I don't want one of these two inch thick boards, so I'm trying to find one of these thinner boards. It just barely fits. It's getting dark out here, it's still raining. I'm glad it's still raining. Um, I got my piece of wood, got it sanded. Let's see if we can transfer this to wood. Oh, it doesn't sound good. It sounds like it's crinkling up. I might have cut my paper too big. Oops. <laughs> I don't think that printed correctly. little wheels that grab the paper. I wonder if I waxed them so now it won't print. It already crinkled this piece of paper up, the second one I made. But looking like it's printing, I think it's gonna work. Uh, my image might be on there, hope so. The video where I learned this said to wait about 30 seconds. So I've been waiting a little bit. Yeah, I can see my picture pretty good on here now. I'll make sure I can get it kind of centered a little bit. Yep. It looks like it's working. Ooh. I can see it, but it's, it's not real easy to see. Oh, and I got a bunch of ink here. I think I'm gonna sketch some of it with a pencil to try to... I might need to get some carpet paper or something to do transfers. This this does not seem to be the best way to do this, but for today it was because I don't have any carbon paper. So I think this is pretty good. Okay, so I've sketched it out, but I've run out of time, so I'm gonna have to finish this another time. <laughs>